Bonjour y'all, I'm back, and for today's topic, we're going to be discussing a popular nickname for New Orleans, Paris of the South, or Paris of America. So basically, I'm going to be diving to the origins. Why is New Orleans called Paris of America? Um, things and movies that have showed um, it being compared to Paris, and etc. So there's this really good song, guys, by Ronnie Elliott. It's called Oh, how do Paris seems after you Thank you, Ronnie. So, did you guys hear that? He said, Oh, how dull Paris seems after you've seen New Orleans. So, there's like a sense of superiority um, that New Orleans, like, well, you got to, it was a French city, remember, guys? That's why um, people call it Paris of America. But there's also things like New Orleans is the daughter of Paris. So, I'll dive into that. I'll dive into that. Paris, September 1870. The city I had always dreamed of. I was Creole after all, and Paris was the mother of New Orleans. A universe whole and entire unto herself. So the clip I just showed you guys was, um, oh my gosh, this thing was unbuttoned the whole time, guys, I'm sorry. It's fixed now, I think. It's fixed. Okay, mm, so the clip I showed you was from Interview with the Vampire, and that was the character Louis, and what he said there was, Paris, the city I've always dreamed of. I was real after all. After all, Paris is the mother of New Orleans. She's entirely a universe unto herself. So basically what he's saying is, guys, Paris is where high society started. So like, um, but New Orleans, it's in the new world. So it's like a new branch of Paris. It's like Paris continued on. Um, New Orleans is the new Paris, but um, New Orleans is different because it's American, it's unique, it's mixed. There's, there's different, it's, there's so much complicated like aspects that there's like, it's hard to explain, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Okay guys, so the thing I'm about to read to you is from Lyle Saxon's Fabulous New Orleans. He is one of the most prominent New Orleans authors. He's up there with like Grace King. Lafito Hearn, I don't even know if I pronounce his name right, I'm sorry, but um, I'm going to read you this um, description of like um, Creoles and like their education, how they were sent to Paris, etc. Let me get started. But New Orleans was not in any sense an American city, it was still essentially Creole. The blending of the French and the Spanish had been accomplished, but the further blending with the American population was just beginning. There was tremendous luxury in the city. The young men were sent abroad to be educated, usually to Paris. There, these young Creoles were liked well, or well liked, I'm sorry. For they were handsome young fellows, and they were plentifully supplied with money. Money gained by the sweat of the Negro slaves on Papa's plantations back in Louisiana. In Paris, the young men did as they pleased, gambled, studied if they liked, bought and made love. It is not surprising that they were bored when they returned to the lesser delights of New Orleans. So, um, did you hear that? When they were, it is not surprising that they were bored when they returned to the lesser delights of New Orleans. That's an insult. You're insulting New Orleans, Lionel Saxon. I thought you loved New Orleans, but it's true, guys. Paris was like by far superior to New Orleans. New Orleans could only wish to become just as like bright as New Orleans. There's a um. That New Orleans, did I just say that New Orleans wanted to become just as bright as New Orleans? I meant New Orleans could only dream as becoming just as bright as Paris. Um, an interview with a vampire by Anne Rice. I don't have it, but I want to get it. She writes a description how New Orleans always wanted to become Paris, but Paris is a universe unto its own. It's its own thing. It's on its own league. New Orleans is right here. But in terms of being different, New Orleans is just as equal or maybe even higher because New Orleans is like Paris reimagined. It's, it's, I think that's why you can call it Paris of America or Paris of the South. Um, because it's just so unique. Not that it, was, it just used to be a French city. There's just so much aspects and it pours all into each other. Um, the next video I want to do, guys, is maybe explaining nicknames like Metropolis of the South, even though it's no longer. That's Atlanta and Houston and Miami. But it's still very much the Queen City of the South. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to Teacher Orleans.